Hey guys, this is my new series about NIR camouflage. So basically this means near infrared camouflage. So camouflage against night vision devices like this one I'm using there to record this video. Today the first part is about the difference of the signature in nighttime like right now with the moon shining and daytime because often for demonstrating the camouflage effectiveness of patterns and so on I record at daytime so this video is the base for all upcoming videos and also a proof <laughs> for all the videos I've done in the past so enjoy yeah what is NIR? NIR means near infrared so you cannot see it with your naked eye because we can see the visible, visible spectrum and then there is near infrared on one side of it. So it's a wavelength which does not interact with our eyes. Yeah, but night vision devices and some animals can see it. For us it's mainly important because night vision devices can see it. I do not want to discuss if NIR camouflage is important or not because the opinions go in completely different directions. Some people say it's not needed at all and others say it's mandatory. It's important to talk about the difference between day and night. First one is like uh, obvious. At night it's darker, so the intensity of the light is different. And also the wavelengths of the light is also different. It all depends on the foliage, where you are, how the sun is, how the clouds are and so on. But I'm not a scientist, I don't want to make this a too complex topic. Generally you can say between moonlight and sunlight the main difference is the intensity and also how the wavelengths are mixed to get the light. <laughs> to see the NIR signature we need electronic devices because the sensors can see the near infrared light and can turn it into light which we can see. So at first I like to use a modified DSLR so usually in these cameras there is a filter which blocks the infrared light and this filter was removed so the infrared light can come through and will interact with the sensor. I have added um, an infrared filter which only lets through infrared light from 720 nanometers so the visible light is almost not there it's only a bit of the red and mainly infrared light and some of the red light will interact with the sensor. The modified DSLR camera is mainly nice at daytime because at night you would have to do a long time exposure or long exposure but at day you can do like almost normal pictures with short exposure. Uh, I still use a tripod but super nice tool. The next one is a digital night vision device. This is, this is basically like a cheap camera which hasn't got an infrared sensor. It's more sensitive and it has got a flashlight for infrared built in. Yeah, you can get some of them quite cheap. This one is from One Leaf, not super cheap, but still not military standard. It's <laughs> these uh, digital night vision devices are only for like curious guys looking at the night because you have a super bright light infrared light and it's quite easy to get spotted so it's mainly for hunters and also for people just looking around. So digital night vision device main advantage is it's relatively cheap it records directly in the device can be used at day and at night but it needs a light source so a light around or the active IR illumination which is built in. The last thing is the real deal, so a real military grade night vision device. This is from Actin Black, so thank you Actin Black for supporting me with this device. The good thing about these devices is they are not like a camera, so you have almost or you have no delay and you can walk around with them and do almost everything at night. So military special forces or military in general, also police forces use these things to see at night. So. For me to record the video and the pictures, I have to use an adapter, which I can place on here and then I can record through this device with my mobile phone. Yeah, to use this at day, uh, not practical in any tactical scenarios, but to check the NIR signature, for example, it needs a day cap. There is a super, super tiny hole inside, so only a little bit of the light comes through. 
yeah, and at night you can remove this cap and you can see, yeah, at night if there's some remaining light in the area. Of course, if you are in a pitch black room, you will see nothing. You still need some lighting like, uh, yeah, near infrared flashlight. Yeah, and this also sees the visible light. So, yeah, quite a nice thing. Yeah. Enough to the, the devices I use. So now let's see the pictures compared daytime and nighttime. For a first impression, you can see with the naked eye, pants and jacket are almost the same color. But now with the night vision device, they look different. And you can see the same with the modified DSLR and also with the digital night vision device, all at day. Now let's see how this setup looks at night. So here with some moonlight, and let's compare this to the daytime pictures. You can see it's comparable. So now let's try this with different patterns. Conditions, cloudy sky, light rain. Over there is a village. You can see the ambient light. A little bit of moon, but hidden behind the clouds. Over there is also a village. For the following comparison, I will not include the pictures from the digital night vision device, since the pictures are quite close to the pictures from the modified DSLR camera. And the following comparison will be relatively quick, so make sure to hit pause if you want to look at it with time. And first, some Concamo Green. Now on the left, the picture with the modified DSLR. And now, daytime with the real night vision device. Let's compare this to nighttime with the night vision device. Now with some IR illumination. Now a UF Pro jacket in olive and I spray painted it with some EC paint. You can see the EC paint is almost not visible for the naked eye, but in the infrared you have a clear line. Here's a jacket by Exonia, official German army flag tan. You can see the high contrast even with active IR illumination. How about multicam? Here is a smock in original multicam by Pitchfork Systems. Not as much contrast as Flectan, especially if you use IR illumination. Yeah, next one is a olive insulation jacket. Not an IR compliant and therefore highly reflective. Now to my conclusion. Here are the pictures side by side to compare them. Of course, they don't look exactly the same since the devices also work differently. But you can see if you compare day to night and also the different devices that at daytime you can indeed get a good idea of how your clothing will look in the near infrared spectrum at night time. That's it with part one of this series. Make sure to subscribe to my channel to not miss the next upcoming parts. And also feel free to check out my website because I publish a lot of these infrared photography things on my website and also talk about some of the topics. Yeah. Thanks for watching. I'm looking forward to be watched by you again. For example, in these videos. <laughs> Thanks. <laughs> nice.